In the last video we used the create link shortcut. In this one we're going to do essentially the same thing but we'll be using the case editor. We're going to add an open link action to the on click event of a menu item. We'll learn how you can copy and paste cases from widget to widget. Finally we'll preview our prototype and look at the basic preview options. Next we'll create a link in the conventional albeit more advanced way. We'll get an intro to the case editor in the bargain. Click on the add case link or you can also double click the on click event to create an on click case. It's a good idea to rename the case description now something more descriptive about the interaction. This is important when you're dealing with numerous cases on an event. Initially this dialog looks very intimidating and I don't want to attempt to explain too much up front. Instead, I'd prefer to take a learn by doing approach. On the left hand side panel is add actions. You'll find our open link action here. Click it and you'll see it added to the organize actions in the middle pane. The associated options for that action appearing in the last third of the dialog. As you can see, when you select the action, the options that apply to the action appear in the configure pane. You'll now see that you can choose to open the page in the same window or spawn another one. You also have some radio button options about what sort of link you want, internal, external and so on. Here we are going to link to a page in this project, product 2 there link added you can also copy and paste actions so we can right click and copy and then right click and paste an event on another widget it's a useful function although this isn't a great example because we still need to go ahead and customize it in this instance anyway Let's go back to our first menu item and update the product description just to be thorough. Let's update our logo with a graphic that we prepared earlier. Delete the placeholder and add an image file. Double click the image widget to open the file browser. Uh, you can find this image file in your code pack. And let's add a link to our logo so that we can access the home page. Now let's review our prototype. Rather, th rather than use the toolbar as before, it's much quicker to hit F5. But first I'll introduce the preview options. First you can choose which configuration you want to use with the preview. I'll introduce this dialog later, it's somewhat advanced. Next you can choose which browser you want to open your preview with. This is important because there may be small differences in rendering or possibly behavior in different browsers. Lastly you can choose whether you want the sitemap to be rendered in your preview. Sitemaps are a double-edged sword because in some respects it makes it easier to browse the prototype but it also makes the user become accustomed to using the sitemap instead of the interaction in the screen which is what you want them to do click preview now we can click around using our in-page controls let's check whether all of our links are behaving as expected ok great now you can add links. You may be tempted to fake interaction by duplicating pages and making the required tweaks to the UI and putting a simple link in. It works, yes, but this approach can get really messy if you plan to go beyond really simple interaction. If you are already doing this and you're a little worried about making the leap to using the case editor, I would recommend that you make extensive use of masters in order to reduce duplication. 
but of course it's best to use the appropriate dynamic features of Axure. They're not that scary. <laughs>